In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a glare effect for your light objects, which is sometimes also called a lens flare. We'll do it using Blender, and here is our street light model. We'll add a glare effect to this street light, just like this, and it's very easy to do. But currently this is just a basic model, it does not contain any light object. The only light in this scene is the ambient light coming from this sun object. Let's slightly reduce its strength, so that we get a little more dark environment. Now we will add a source of light here, so let's go to the solid view mode, and add a sphere from the add menu, maybe UV sphere. We'll reduce its size like this, and then move it to the center of this street light, inside its housing part. Then we have to create a new material, in the materials tab, but instead of principled BSDF, we'll select emission, and we'll change its strength to say 25. So we have set up a light for our street light model, now we'll create the glare effect around this light. We have to do this using compositor settings, so we'll split our screen into two halves, and then open the compositor in this lower half. Now if we enable this use nodes option, we'll get these two default nodes, one is the render output, and another is this final output node. We have to then go to the add menu, and from the filter group, we'll add a glare node, and place it after the render layer. We have to use the bloom option here, and to visually see the effect of this change, open this drop down, and enable the option of compositor result. But the bloom effect is too much for this light, so we'll reduce the size value to say 5. Then we'll add the lens flares around this light, so we'll duplicate this glare node, and place it just after the first one, but this time, we will change it from bloom to streaks. You can customize it in many ways, like you can change this quality to high, or medium, or low, which impacts the spread of these streaks. You can also increase this iteration value for a better quality. Then let's reduce this mix factor, so that we get a subtle effect, and the streaks are balanced with the dark background. You can also change the number of streaks for this effect, right now we have 4 streaks, but you can change this. Then we can enter some random angle in this offset field, that rotates the streaks. We can also change this fade value, to change the length of each streak, but please remember that it also depends on the quality level we have selected above, let's use 0.9 here. This now looks good, but it's still a bit large in size, so for the light object or the sphere, let's reduce the size factors to maybe 0.15. Now everything is perfect with this light, but there is a problem here. If you have any other light in the scene, or even if there is a bright spot in the background, it will also get the same glare. If you want to avoid such unwanted glares, or you want to limit this glare effect to a particular set of objects, we can also do that. First in the view layers, scroll down below and under the Cryptomat section, enable the option called Object. Now go to the Add menu within Compositor, and from the Mask group, add a node called Cryptomat, and place it just after the render layer. Then in this Mat ID, you have to type down the name of the light object, and if you have multiple such objects, enter the names separated by comma. It will only give us the glare image, but we need to mix it with the rest of the scene. So again go to the Add menu, and from the Color Mix group, add an Alpha Over node, and place it after the last glare node. We have to bring this input into the second socket, and for the first socket, we need to connect the original render layer, or the original image. So we'll get the complete output, with the correct glare effect, there is no glare for any other bright spot or any other light here. This is how we can create a glare effect for any particular light object. Now let's say we want to create a series of such street lights along this road. We have to create an array of this object, so go to the Modifiers tab, and from the Generate group, let's add an Array modifier. But instead of the relative offset, we'll use the Constant option to create the array. Then in place of this X value, we'll enter 15 for the Y direction, because the array is along the Y axis. And we can enter the number of objects as 50, or whatever we like. But this will only create a series of the street lights. we have to also do the same for the actual light. So let's select the light object, and remember that we have reduced its size, so we'll first apply the scale factors from here. Then we need to add the same modifier with the same settings for this light object, and it will create a beautiful series of the light along the road. Now you can add some area lights to get the light and shadow effect, and the final output will look like this. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.